In March 2023, Liverpool-based psych pop project Novelty Island, aka Tom McConnell, released their second album, Walls End Weekend Television. The album was recorded at Abbey Road Studios over a number of years. First off, the quickest roundup on Tom McConnell, as you obviously won't know who he fucking is. Tom McConnell was born in Liverpool in 1993, but grew up in Newcastle upon Tyne, where he learned many instruments and nothing useful as a young boy. In 2009, he returned to Liverpool, and in 2012 began gigging around the city and beyond. In those initial years, he toured supporting Glenn Tilbrook and Squeeze. <laughs> was shared online by Paul McCartney. That's you, is it? It's me. I heard yeah, all about <laughs> you. Well done, man. Then he met a lovely girl called Frankie, who inspired much music, and he took on a stage name, Tom Lowe, that he fucking hated saying. Hi, I'm Tom Lowe. He released an EP, recorded on his phone on the famous Delta Sonic label, and murdered Tom Lowe. Then, with Frankie and pal Adam, he formed TV Me. They gigged around also and weren't world famous. Then, in 2018, he became clinically fed up, so he and Frankie moved to Abbey Road with all of Tom's songs. At the end of 2019, he began gigging in London as Novelty Island until COVID. COVID. He returned to Liverpool and wrote, recorded and released and released and released and released an album called How Are You Coping With This Century to rave reviews. The album led to Novelty Island becoming a live act around the UK once the pandemic receded and they played Glastonbury in 2022. Oh, Glastonbury! By 2023, he was a very old man. He returned to his Abbey Road recordings to release an album called Wall Sand Weekend Television. I'm here at the legendary Abbey Road Studios to interview Tom himself. Let's head inside. Hi, please. Fucking hell. So, Tom, you make music. Yes. But I've been led to believe the music you made here was prepared earlier. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Will you tell us about that? Yes, so I would demo a lot of songs at my mum's in Liverpool and at my girlfriend's house. And that's where a lot of these songs were born. <laughs> wow, so talk us through a typical day in the life of Tom during this time. There was a phase when my mum had builders in the garden a lot and I would get up a bit too late, smoke out the window, close the curtains and then play magic piano riffs at them. Oof, magic piano riffs? Well, can you show us what you mean by that? Beautiful. That one was also real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any memorable moments from this process? I dropped a pot noodle once. I'm so sorry for your loss. And I'd also, um, you know, just demo with the headphones on while everyone was hanging out at Frankie's house, being generally really sociable. And that's where I did Stitches. Bootlegs. Go, go. When you wanna go, go. Quite a lot of them started that way. So, these demos, you then recorded them here? I did. I put them in a suitcase and we moved to London for a little while to come to the Abbey Road Institute. Um, and I recorded a lot of things in this very room on this very desk. Wow, this is the very desk the here. The very desk. Incredible. And it's very desk. Can, can you talk us through the process there? I do a lot of drums in the live room. <laughs> I'd, you know, record my vocals in here on their very lovely mics. Though. I made a drum machine out of my own mouth noises. Can you demonstrate? No. <laughs> we do a lot of mixing in this room. So yeah, there's a lot of this room on a lot of the songs. Wow. <laughs> so here we are on the iconic steps of Studio 2. No, we're not. Are you sure? Yes. Then explain him! Fucking Paul McCartney. <laughs> Tell us about the songs you recorded in Studio 2. So the first time I recorded in Studio 2, I was allowed to use Mrs Mills on my song C minor if I did it in one take in a five minute lunch break. <laughs> Woke up and I'm floating 
down the tube. And then I got a whole day in there doing Eureka, I can see. And then it only seemed appropriate to spend the lunch break doing as many beetly bits as possible. Eureka, tell us about writing that song. I wrote that on the piano in the custom late one night when I was a little bit homesick. And it's about, yeah, the North. And I went to chat to that very piano myself. So Tom wrote Eureka on you. Can you tell us a bit more about that night? Well, Donny sat quite late in the evening, I recall. A young man missing home from the North, just like myself. It's too bloody hot in London. And then he played the song. Yes, he played a tonic onto a minor sixth that led on to the minor second. But an unexpected minor fourth came round the corner. A nice harmonic surprise to break from the diatonic. Wonderful. And do you like the song? No. So, stitches. Tell us about how you stitched that together. Well, I stitched it together in Studio 3. Um, it was out of little pieces of music I'd composed as a kid. So the first bit was a piece called Roll Up, Roll Up that I did when I was about 14. And then the main bulk I wrote in 2015 in Frankie's living room. And then the ending was a little thing I had when I was a really little kid. When I was about 11 or something called Stitches. And you recorded all those songs right here in Studio 2. We're clearly outside. As Tom persisted in his delusion that we weren't in Studio 2, I found solace and excitement on the iconic staircase. With each step, I couldn't help but envision the countless legendary musicians who had once ascended and descended these very stairs. The weight of their presence was palpable, and the sheer magnitude of history surrounding me was overwhelming. With every stride, I felt a surge of exhilaration and reverence, as if I were tapping into a sacred energy that... So what's the oldest song on the album? A song called Balloons. Balloons? <laughs> but that's the last song on the album! Tell us about the process of my writing that! Well, I really like Brian Wilson's structures of the time, and he wrote pocket symphonies and things of her pet sounds, good vibrations and stuff. What about that famous popping noise you've got right at the end of the album? My friend Liam, he um, helped me record that in this room and outside. I have footage of it. at Damon Albans. Lurkot. <laughs> yes, so I did a tune called Funny Little Rhythm mm -hmm. in there. Um, I'd heard a song by a similar genre of the band with a big slide guitar solo that I wanted to try and beat. So I tried. <laughs> This 
was all during the end times. It was. I think that was a masked session, mm -hmm. as was the one for Over and Over. Recorded in the same studios? In the same place. Over and over you stare at my picture blankly. That was about the TV that no one wanted to know anymore. And I did an original version in here with everyone crowding around the window as we recorded it. The window's not in shot, so we'll cut to that later. It's in your shot. Oh, God! Hey. This window here. Ready, son? Yeah. Answer me. 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 Answer me.
I wrote a new one called Turn To Me and stuck that on there. Turn to me, set along the ocean free You fear idols in the distance of your mind so Say... So Tom, did you follow any bizarre rituals to ensure this album's success? No. Thank you, Tom. Over cloudbursts I saw you Pleasure waits at the pier Smell the beer Held to skelter over here With some sugar and the birds And a cheer Woozy heads like a dodger Seagulls chats on the wall, bowling ball, stripey jeans, you stand for tall, wooden leg, wins it all, what a day. And the rollers, the coasters, the walls round, a lifetime, belonging, a different age. The swinging collectively, spinning. Down at the desperately strange In the rain, we'll drink those bottles dry again. If a rain, we can drive away the day, and the world still will pray. Anyway, and the rollers, the coasters, the walls round a lifetime belonging, a deeper run. Down at the desperately strange. Thank you very much, everybody. What is it, TV day?